Good morning all, it's Rod. We're in the lab this morning and I had a question from a reader. Rod, is it possible to over discharge my lithium iron phosphate battery? It's showing zero volts on the terminals. I don't understand why the BMS is supposed to protect it. Well, the BMS does protect it, but here's the problem. It's called rebound voltage. I'll show you right here. So this battery is pretty close to the bottom. And I plugged a car headlight into the battery. We can see that it turned off. Now what happens is if the load remains connected after it turns off, the voltage inside the battery rebounds to the point where the BMS reconnects. And that takes a little bit of time sometimes. But we'll see here in just a few seconds, I guess, that the battery will come back on. The light will come back on. There we go. Now it repeats. Now if you have a small, very small parasitic load, this is a pretty big load for a 6 amp hour battery. But the smaller the load, the worse this gets because eventually what will happen is on, off, on, off. You finally get to the point where the BMS cannot reconnect because the cells will not rebound. So be very careful with parasitic loads because the BMS cannot protect against that. I mean, it tries to, but eventually you get to a point where the cells cannot rebound again. And then your only option is to take the battery apart and charge the batteries, the cells manually to get them to that point. So that's why I always suggest buying batteries that uh, you can get into. For example, uh, I don't even know what this one is here, but this one's got screws on the lid. So, you know, you always want to make sure that you're buying a battery that is what I call serviceable. And by serviceable, I don't mean replacing the cells. I mean getting access to the cells so that you can charge them because these external terminals are isolated by the BMS. So just charging these and you can try to recharge it with a 12 volt battery. The problem is that most chargers, most battery chargers that are out there will not charge into a zero volt load. They, it's a safety feature. So that's why you need either a power supply like this or another battery to try to jumpstart it. And if that doesn't work, your only option is to open the case and charge the cells directly. And uh, so that's how it happens. That's how you can over discharge your lithium iron phosphate battery. And uh, it will require surgery in really bad cases to get it fixed. I hope this helps, guys. Bye-bye.